Behold, the purity of all natural chicken broth. Artificial flavors and colors are so 80s. Manischewitz Pure Broth. And it was good. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller and we are making Italian wedding soup. This is one of my favorite and actually a lot of people's favorites from my new book, Quick and Kosher Meals and Minutes. So we're going to get started with chopping some onions and garlic. Because, you know, everything good in the kitchen starts with some chopped and sauteed onions and garlic. So now actually before I even cut this onion, I want to show you a little bit of a trick. You know how your cutting board, especially plastic cutting boards, which are super easy to use, but they like slide all around? I have a damp paper towel here underneath. Keeps your cutting board nice and secure when you're working with a sharp knife and trying to cut your onions. So use that tip at home. Okay, so you'll see that I actually sliced through the stem end of the onion here, keeping it intact. That will make chopping it finally just a little bit easier. Okay, so we want to dice this onion. We want fine pieces. So we're going to go all the way across, but not quite to the end, keeping it intact. And then just a quick dice. Just a few simple strokes, and then you have your finely chopped onion. Then our garlic. So give it a smash, and then we'll release it from the paper. Slicing that, and just mince that up nice and fine. And we're going to actually put it in a small little bowl because we're going to saute our onions first. So in and into the bowl. All right, over to the stove top to saute. So uh, this pan has been heating up on medium to high heat with nothing in it. So now we're going to add the olive oil, about a tablespoon, and then our onions. And that is why we heat up our pan first. So we got that great sizzle, and that's going to go for about three to four minutes before we add our garlic. Okay, now our garlic goes in. Want every little last bit. And another one to two minutes. We're just looking to get these softened and just starting to become golden brown. All right, we're going to take these onions and garlic and get it into our meat mixture. Okay, so now we've got our sautéed onions and garlic, which is great. We want to let that cool a little bit before we add it to the meat and form our meatballs. The recipe calls for a quarter cup of chopped flat leaf parsley. In a kosher kitchen, you have to carefully check your herbs and vegetables for infestation. So I couldn't find the pre-checked parsley, so I actually am using uh, dried. I do it all the time whenever I need to do a shortcut. Um, dried parsley, it's a three to one ratio, so a quarter cup is about one and a half tablespoons of parsley. Then we've got our unseasoned, our plain breadcrumbs. That goes right in. Want some kosher salt, of course. It's about a teaspoon, so one, two, it's like three or four sprinkles in there. Some fresh cracked black pepper. Okay, one egg beaten. I'm gonna give that a quick little whisk together. And then we will get that into our meat mixture. Perfect. And then we have our sautéed onions and garlic. They smell so good. I want to bite right now. Every little last bit in there. Now we're going to make our meatballs. So now we've got it all in here. We want to mix it together. The idea is not to overmix. We don't want tough meatballs. We want to make sure we got every little last bit of onion and garlic that we worked so hard to dice and sauté. And that's coming together beautifully. So now you're going to take a little bit. You want to actually form about like a half inch to one inch meatballs. Uh, gently roll them into uniform size pieces and get it into a pan. You want to grease a pan, anything that will fit in your freezer and fit all of the meatballs because we're going to put this in the freezer for about 15 minutes so that the meatballs can hold their shape once we drop them into the hot broth. Okay. So we're going to use the Manischewitz All Natural Chicken Broth for this recipe. You're going to need two 32 ounce boxes. I love these. They are shelf stable. I use them in like 101 recipes. Just get them in. So now we're going to bring our meatballs and gently lower them one at a time into our boiling broth. And they're nice and like semi frozen. So they're going to hold their shape really well here. It's about a half a cup of orzo right in. Now we're going to lower this to a simmer and cook it for about 20 minutes uncovered, adding spinach just the last minute or two, and then we are good to go with this.